Well, that is the situation, the current news coming to our newsroom there, that the Employment and Labor Relations Court has thrown out a case filed by the Law Society of Kenya, challenging the establishment of that Chief Administrative Secretary position, which is also known as the CAS. Remember, Justice, Justice Monica Mbaru, Ali Thursday, ruled that the Public Service Commission did follow the right procedure in establishing that particular position, a number of... Yeah, um, a number of um, applications were done and of course we'll keep on giving you more information on that but moving on this afternoon national assembly majority leader and kikui member of parliament kimani shungwa is expected to speak on allegations that israeli hackers meddled with last year's general election reports claim a group of hackers led by atal hanan an israel international accessed emails and charts of President William Ruto's aides, among them digital strategist Dennis Itumbi and Davis Churcher during the elections. Let us now link up with our reporter, David Mudoka, who's joining us from Parliament to find out more about the hacking claims that comes just two days after President Ruto's main opponent in the August president election, that is Raila Odinga, confessed to contracting hackers to access IBC systems. Mudoka, good afternoon. So much is being said. What can you tell us? Good afternoon, Ashley, and indeed so much is being said. Now, that Kenya Kwanzaa reaction towards reports that hackers accessed not only emails but also charts of key allies of President William Ruto before, during and after the August election, uh, we expect that Kenya Kwanzaa reaction to be coming just a few minutes from now from none other than the Kikuyu MP Kimani Ishungwa who doubles up as the National Assembly Majority Leader. And so according to the reports we understand that uh, the hackers were led by Israeli national Tal Hanan who is a former Israeli uh, special forces operative who led a group of hackers in accessing uh, key data uh, from two key allies among them is digital strategist uh, for President William Ruto, Dennis Itumbi, as well as Davis Churchill, who is the current cabinet secretary for energy and petroleum, but during the election was the chief of staff at the office of the deputy president and unofficially just the head of the IT team uh, for the President William Ruto uh, campaign team. And so uh, we understand, uh, according to investigations that uh, were conducted by a group of up to 100 journalists from that media houses that the hackers uh, not only uh, read but also send and also deleted messages on behalf of the two that is it tumbi and Churchill, and they have confessed to not only have done that in kenya but also in other parts of africa and in other parts of the world where elections have been conducted now we expect kenya kwanzaa to make a reaction towards that but according to uh, a, a, a press invite uh, that is from kimani ishungwa is that uh, they think uh, it was not only just about uh, intelligence gathering and disinformation against President William Ruto, but also an entire plot to meddle with the August election. Now, the question is, was there a connection between that very hacking, uh, or rather those very revelations, and Raila Odinga's sentiments on Monday during an interview with a station where he said that he had hired ethical hackers, what he termed as ethical hackers, uh, to get into the IEBC systems and look at the numbers uh, that came in uh, during the August presidential election. And he says that uh, the particular idea to hire ethical hackers bore fruit because uh, he understands that he won the August election uh, by a margin of 2.2 million votes. So the question is, was there a connection between those very ethical hackers that Raila Odinga says he hired and the very Israeli hackers now who say that they uh, accessed mails and charts of President William Ruto's key allies? And the other question that we are seeking answers to is who hired them? And so we are looking forward to that very press uh, release and that very press uh, um, uh, interview by Kimani Ishungwa just to understand and to answer some of the questions, pertinent questions uh, regarding these very revelations that continue to cause a star within political circles. Ashley. Thank you so much, David Mudoka, for that. Of course, we await for the Member of 